uh, I wouldn't wish to be drawn to the previous uh, utterances, but uh, just to say that uh, as fathers in this house, we shall revisit at the right time. Anyway, Mr. Speaker, there is a very, these are two very important petitions that have been uh, brought before the house. First is a petition by Senator Mariam Sheikh on behalf of uh, Mihango residents. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I know uh, Mihango very well. I grew up not very far from there and perhaps uh, played even near, played football as a young kid, uh, very close to where Senator uh, Mariam uh, is speaking about. And to be in this house this afternoon, Mr. Speaker, it will be gross abuse of the premium position of privilege that I have as a member of parliament to just rant and say uh, this is wrong, uh, shouldn't have happened, and expect that uh, things remain the same. Mr. Speaker, uh, those that have been in this house, and including everybody that's here this afternoon, know that uh, on more than one occasion, we have considered petitions on uh, citizens that have been evicted from various properties. Many times, countless times, I have lost count. And we keep on uh, sharing our rage. Then we go wash our hands, eat mandazi, and go home. That's not what we are paid to do as members of parliament, Mr. Speaker. It will be great the reliction of duty if the committee responsible, the one that shall handle this petition, shall go, visit, uh, listen to the cries of the residents, and just come back to this house with a report uh, left out to gather dust in this house. I propose, Mr. Speaker, that this committee goes beyond the call of duty to not only just establish the truth uh, on this residence, Perhaps if KPLC will be found to be at fault, Mr. Speaker, first of all, impose a fine, and we have that possibility. It's possible. We can give such directions, uh, Mr. Speaker, and propose that they seek, uh, that, that the citizens actually be compensated. But over and above, Mr. Speaker, the most important thing is that can we come up with legislation, Mr. Speaker, on how to carry out evictions in this country, Mr. Speaker. We should go beyond just the collective rage as a house every other afternoon saying this was not done in a proper way. I believe that we can come up with a legislation that says even where there arises a dispute in a land between two parties, that this is a procedure that uh, the police are supposed to follow. So that every other time we are not, we don't hear these stories that we keep on hearing that, oh, you know, in the dead of the night, people showed up in trucks, blah, 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 and the kind of things that we hear each and every other afternoon, Mr. Speaker. We need to bury that practice this session of Parliament, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, the committee that will be tasked with handling this uh, petition, Mr. Speaker, will do us great justice, and they'll cover us with dignity as a House, Mr. Speaker, if they come back to us with a legislative proposal on evictions of members of the public on any disputed property, Mr. Speaker, so that we put it... Uh, to an end. This does not require much uh, thought to it, but lay out a procedure. I don't know which uh, statute or law they, will, they are likely to amend, public order or whatever, Mr. Speaker, but at least guide the country. It is clear that the reason why these violations continue to happen uh, so many times, Mr. Speaker, is for want of good laws, uh, Mr. Speaker. Therefore, I believe that that uh, will be good justice so that we never sit here on another afternoon uh, Mr. Speaker, to just lament and uh, go and have Mandazi and go home, Mr. Speaker. Secondly, Mr. Speaker, is a very interesting petition by Senator Hillary Segei, which uh, seems to have escaped the notice or the attention of many senators, because I've listened uh, to most of my colleagues and they've only commented on the petition about uh, evictions by KPLC. This is an interesting one, uh, Mr. Speaker. You do know, Mr. Speaker, that uh, global conglomerates are increasingly facing scrutiny either by parliaments or regulatory bodies in the countries within which they operate in, Mr. Speaker, for various uh, malpractices, either in their accounting reporting or even in breach of data and so many uh, foul things that uh, these institutions are found, uh, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, or, or various uh, uh, breaches of the law, Mr. Speaker, that these multinationals are found uh, to be in breach of, Mr. Speaker. You do know, Mr. Speaker, that presently in the European Parliament, there is a big fight 
between the Irish data regulator and Meta, the parent company that owns uh, Facebook. And they have been fined over a billion dollars just for breach of data, Mr. Speaker, for transferring data from European residents back to United uh, States, Mr. Speaker. It points to the fact that citizens, regulatory bodies, parliaments are increasingly becoming aware to the evil practices of many of these uh, multinationals that operate in countries other than their origin with very little regard to the rule of law. I know this is a practice. It's not just EABL as is being mentioned in this petition, Mr. Speaker. I know for a fact, when I read the tax records of KRA, Mr. Speaker, and you read about leading taxpayers, for example, you know that you'll find very small ecologists in Narok are paying more taxes than the people that run the huge multinational plantations back in Kericho, Mr. Speaker. It cannot make sense. It doesn't make sense, but because of exactly the same situation that is being described in that uh, particular petition, Mr. Speaker, KRA are not able, uh, Mr. Speaker, to follow through and ensure that the people uh, pay, uh, that these institutions pay the taxes that are due of them, Mr. Speaker. And in fact, you know, unfortunately, Mr. Speaker, because of the pettiness of the conversation around the finance bill of 2023, very important <laughs> snippets and proposals that have come through after many years of conversations about what to do with such companies, are missing out. In the finance bill of 2023, Mr. Speaker, you will find a repatriation tax proposal where it is now being proposed for these companies that repatriate profits out of Kenya that they first pay a local tax within their country where they apply their trade and practice. Because we pay police officers, we train their employees, they use our roads to run their trade, then they go and do their books in London and in all these other uh, uh, posh capitals of the world, paying very little uh, taxes to this uh, uh, country, Mr. Speaker. I hope at least in the fullness of time, when the dust settles and we have an adult conversation about the proposals that are in the Finance Bill of 2023, at least that shall not be one of the uh, uh, proposals that will fall down, Mr. Speaker, because I know National Assembly, it's not the first time that this is being proposed, but you know, unfortunately, as a House, we do not have uh, the powers to legislate on uh, tax matters, Mr. Speaker, but at least we have a platform and the voice to speak on these particular issues. Therefore, we'll be watching with keen attention the proposals that will come from whichever committee will handle that uh, petition on the practices of EABL, uh, Mr. Speaker, that you are being invited to listen and learn from that citizen that has petitioned this House, Mr. Speaker. It's of great interest, Mr. Speaker, to note that while this citizen had the choice to take this petition either to the National Assembly or the Senate, they brought it here to the Senate. Maybe there's something they know about us as a House. Let us not kill uh, the hopes that they have uh, about us as a, as a House, Mr. Speaker. I thank